Governor Ron DeSantis is recommending millions of dollars for a semiconductor institute. Semiconductors are in just about all of our electronic devices. From cell phones and cars to satellites and military equipment. West News Mega Milano explains how the institute would change the future of the industry. Governor Ron DeSantis has recommended $80 million for a semiconductor institute through the University of Florida. He made the announcement Friday at Neo City in Osceola County. Florida is now the fifth largest employer of semiconductor manufacturing in the nation. Semiconductors are in just about every device around us, from cell phones, cars, and drones, to medical devices, satellites in space, and military equipment. That's why the governor says more money should go toward building the industry here in the U.S. America is waking up to the reality that we've offshored too much of our expertise in manufacturing semiconductors. So we want to be able to do more domestically. The governor says the new college could be built in Gainesville or somewhere a little closer to Neo City. Neo City has been leading the industry locally. The 500 acre technology campus is already home to Skywater Technology, a semiconductor manufacturing company. This site will represent the front line in meeting the critical national security needs of building a domestic semiconductor industry. Just minutes away, Valencia College has a robotics lab offering a 22 week program focused on the industry. Other training programs are also already in place. In Osceola County, Megan Mulatto, Wesh 2 News. And we reached out to the University of Florida for comment. The president says in part, quote, we are grateful for the governor's support and are eager to enhance UF's contributions in an area that is crucial to our national security and our state's economy.